What I'm making today is basic yet very enticing. You can't stop eating it till you finish the packet. Trust me on this, making potato wafers is as simple as it's easy to finish it. Let's see how. Potato wafers are made with a special kind of potatoes. So I have this regular potato and this is a wafer potato which is easily available in the market. These look a lot more dustier and this one has a smoother skin. Otherwise, you can use the red potatoes as well. Next step is to peel the potatoes and keep them in water. I have a bowl with ice water in it and I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of salt. Stir it in. Over this, I'm going to place my slicer and now Start slicing the potatoes. Slice them very thinly. When you're reaching the end of the potato, be very careful with your fingers and just leave this much. This is how thin I need the slices to be. The slices are ready and let them soak in this ice water for 10 minutes. 10 minutes are up and now I'm going to dry these chips on a napkin. It's important to soak these slices in water to get rid of the excess starch to make it crispy. Pat dry them because I don't want any amount of water to go into the oil. And then leave them on the napkin for at least 10 minutes. The slices have nicely dried out and now time to fry. Once the oil is hot, reduce the flame to medium and start adding as many chips that fit into your pan. Separate them out. Make sure the temperature is constant all the time. Flip them over. These would take a few minutes to cook. Fry these till the sizzling sound subsides and get them out on a tissue. Once you get the chips out of the oil, sprinkle a pinch of salt on every batch. And mix them. Make sure you add salt for every batch while they are hot so that the salt sticks on the chips. Cool them down, store them in an airtight container. Not my guarantee how long they're gonna last depending on your self-control. Do give this a try. See you next time. Bye-bye.